Jack Rabbit here again. Anyway, this video is going to be a bit of a compilation of um, the Omega A500 cleanup and restoration procedures. So, hope you enjoy it. So, now we're going to try and carefully process the um, keyboard membrane. And the first task is to clean the table surface. Just I use glass cleaner for the most part. It takes away um, grease and stuff very effective. But now we actually we need to um, use some electronic um, contact cleaner. You know? Any generic contact electronics contact cleaner will do it. too aggressive with that contact cleaner stuff is it okay. or rubbing because you might destroy some and as you see you get a little bit of, of the material but if you just take it easy then you should be able to use it because contact cleaner is very good because if there's any oxidization on these pads then um, you'll be able to get rid of it quite easy but as I said not not, not being aggressive and not keeping the chemical on the on the membrane too long either. And I'm just gonna put that on top to be able to soak it up. And now I can just sit here on the table and dry it and then I'm going to store it away until we put it back together again. And um Also, these traces can be that it's been chafing on something, so this is actual remnants of the uh, of that action. So, so anyway, we'll see. But this is the best way I know how to clean membranes, and it's usually it has worked. Because you're what you want. You know, the main culprit for contact failures is oxidization or dust particles and things getting on top of these um, contact points. So, that's done. So, next for some general 
metal bit cleaning, so this is from the disc truck. And some glass cleaner, which I think is the one of the best and cheapest cleaning material. Cleaning liquids to use. of the tape but I'm going to be putting new tape bits on it anyways. That's not really a problem. The main thing is to get rid of all the all and any dust particles that are hanging around. So that's done. And then it was the keyboard back plate. Not that it's that dirty good to clean it off just to, since it's going to be back in the metal membrane so I don't want that get again cover on the um, keyboard membrane. And then we have the um, keyboard controller back plastic. Just to wipe it off. Also just to get rid of all remnants of dust. And then um, All, all the parts I intended to do for now. So anyway, here we're going to um, just wash off the casings and that's just to use some um, washing up liquid. So the objective is not to be too aggressive mechanically or chemically. And of course this will not fix the um, yellowing issue, but my main concern is to get rid of all the dirt that's been compiled over the years. So, just let that power dry off. It's hot enough here. So that will not take that long. And then we have a clean set of plastic cover bits. So, I'll just got to clean off the just use compressed air, not too violent. Right? Ah, see, as always, you get these little bits of dust. Since I actually don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, anything fancy like that, then I'm um, going to have to uh, <laughs> clean it in a little bit different way. So I'll start with the top. Contact cleaner. 
since this has been working. I don't think there's any need to take these sockets out. circuitry use my custom <laughs> not so custom glass cleaner to neutralize any of the, more like the, yeah like here where the ram was replaced I, it will help to um, help to dampen the pH of any chemical that's, that's left decided I'm going to restore this and have some I just went and got some paint spray paint so I just have to try and clean this off as best I can and then paint it so I'll be back when some progress has been made. Oh well probably not the best job but um I still have to clean these off with acetone before print before um painting but I think we'll be able to paint those now getting a bit of a base coat on first seems to be covering rather well it doesn't need to be that thick it's just to help the top paints to stick onto this shiny chrome material well that worked out okay the color's pretty much yeah it's not the actual silver I was thinking of using silver paint but the problem with that is that yeah, I don't know, I have bad experience with it. Not adhering, adhering to surfaces that are not that great. And plus that it chips, but um, yeah, I think this is okay. <laughs> 